Yeah, good morning. Um, I will tell you about the research me and my colleagues performed uh, to see whether diabetic patients are at increased risk for breast and colorectal cancer and uh, dying from this disease. The background, there is increasing evidence that there is an association between uh, diabetes and a mainly type 2 diabetes and cancer incidence and mortality. And it concerns different types of cancer and the strength of the association depends on the type of cancer. In obesity, hyperinsulinemia exists and it is thought that this overload of insulin uh, has effects on cellular level in a way that it stimulates cell growth and that it inhibits the programmed cell death and that in this way it can stimulate the carcinogenesis. And with the obesity forecast, as you can see, they are only rising and if indeed this association between obesity, diabetes and cancer is true, then this is not a very good perspective for the future. Well, we performed a meta-analysis. What is a meta-analysis? It is that you take already performed studies and pull them all together to obtain a pool outcome, which is more reliable than just one study at a time. So we searched medical databases to find articles, um, and these articles had to contain the following outcomes of interest, namely diabetes, incidence of breast and colorectal cancer, and the mortality of these cancers, and as an outcome measure, we wanted hazard ratios, and this is a certain type of risk ratio. We selected the articles on study quality, and we wanted them to be published after 2007, so we were sure we had the most recent articles, which were of highest quality. The results. Finally, we included 20 studies in our analysis, and these studies comprised almost a total of 2 million patients. And in a meta-analysis, you always check whether your included studies are comparable because otherwise it's no use putting them together. Our studies were comparable, so that was a good thing. Here you see a typical plot that you present in a meta-analysis. Um, you see the red dots indicate the individual studies, and the black dot at the bottom is the overall outcome. If this black dot does not reach the vertical line, which is called the line of no effect, then the result is statistically significant. So in the case of breast cancer incidence, there could be seen that diabetic patients had a 23% increased risk of uh, developing breast cancer when we compared them to non-diabetic patients. For colorectal cancer, it was the same story. Um, now the diabetic patients had a 26% increased risk of developing colorectal cancer compared to non-diabetic patients. And then here's the plot for the breast cancer mortality. Again, the black dot does not reach uh, the vertical line, so um, this indicates that diabetic patients have a 38 increased mortality um, of breast cancer compared to non-diabetic patients. And for colorectal cancer, diabetic patients had a 30% uh, increased risk of mortality compared to non-diabetic patients. And again, this was statistically significant. For the future, <clears throat> the studies we included in our meta-analysis um, also contain type 1 diabetic patients. Type 1 diabetic patients are at risk for different types of cancer than type 2 diabetic patients. So future studies should adjust for type of diabetes or they should include type 2 diabetic patients only. Furthermore, the duration of diabetes is really important. Um, some studies say that the increased cancer uh, incidence is due to detection time bias. And what is a detection time bias? It is that um, patients who, are recently, who have recently been diagnosed with diabetes, they visit the doctor more often, and they think that that is the reason that the cancer is detected. But what we are interested in is whether patients with a longer duration of diabetes, if they are still at increased risk of developing cancer. So studies with time-dependent analysis should be performed in the future. Next to this, use of anti-diabetic medication is really important. There are certain types of medication, like metformin or insulin. Um, metformin, in some studies, shows to be protective for the cancer risk, and insulin is, yeah, is said to increase the risk even more. So future studies should really take the use of the different types of medication into account. 
Nevertheless, we think that prevention campaigns on obesity and diabetes should already focus on the problem of diabetes and cancer and not only on cardiovascular diseases because the results are, are worry, worrisome. And finally, we have Professor Philippe Autier, who's going to present his findings. 